Alright everybody, as you can see I've uh, done quite a bit of work on the tricopter. I think it's pretty much ready to fly. There's the three gyros, well the four gyros. Uh, the three silver gyros here, here, and here uh, correspond to the uh, motors out on the uh, on the, their axes. This gyro will go to the uh, to the yaw servo in the back. Um, I've got a mess of wiring in the middle. Uh, receiver, satellite receiver, battery, Velcro down. Um, right here is the connection from my uh, uh, battery eliminator circuit, and um, I wanted to show you this uh, this initialization thing. Now remember, I said that you have to initialize the receiver and the gyros before you can initialize the speed controllers. So basically, this is a two-step process: of plugging it in. All right, all the gyros are locked in heading hold mode now, and now you can initialize the speed controllers. And there's the speed controllers initialized. All right. Let's see what else. Uh, I've got three props all balanced out. And all the motors are mounted. Uh, somewhere over there. And there's the tail. Let's see if it works. Not a whole lot of movement there. All right, I'm gonna have to go in there with my servo programmer and program it up for some more movement. Let's see. It looks like the gyro is reversed. So I'm gonna fix that because as the helicopter yaws to this side, the motor is actually pulling more to that side. And that means that as soon as it gets into the air, it's going to start spinning. So I've got to reverse the, uh, the gyro there for the tail. But other than that, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, I think I'll be ready to fly her pretty soon.